Australia, and here's a man who will be going with them, Marc Antoine Fortuna, who's Celtic have bought from Nancy, technically, although of course he was on loan at West Brom under Tony Mowbray. Let's hear from Fortuna, but first of all, his new stroke old manager. We're obviously delighted. It's um, you know, it's taken a few weeks. I, I obviously worked with him from January last year um, in the Premier League, and you know, we delight to work with a. Uh, first of all, was a very, very talented football player, a, a good man, um, great work ethic, great technique. Um, you know, he will, he will add to the quality we already got here at uh, Celtic Park, and um, I'm delighted that he's here. And um, you know, hopefully, he sees it as a, a very positive step in his career, and, and hopefully, you know, we can help Mark, um, and he can help our team be successful. From what you saw of him in the Premier League, do you feel as though he'll score a lot of goals in the SPL and could also do it in the Champions League if you get there? Yeah, I think so. I think first and foremost, to send the forward, your job is to is to try and um, you know give the team a cutting edge. I think Mark does that, but he also helps the attacking midfield players. He definitely did that at, um, at West Brom. I think uh, he can also help help our attacking midfield players score goals. Um, here at Celtic, I think his, his ability to hold the ball up and the appreciation of of runs in and around him and past him is is very very good. Um, he's an experienced footballer now, and um, I'm sure he'll score goals. I'm sure he'll help create more opportunities for the players also. How do you see him fitting into the side? Is he a, a partner for Scott McDonald or perhaps in a front three? How, how do you see it? Well, I, I think first and foremost, you, what you try and do as a coach is you try and give yourself the best number of options, you know, have as many good footballers as you can, I think sometimes that can give you a, uh, a problem in selection of course, but what you hope and, and what you preach to your players is is to have the humility and respect for their teammates around them that uh, they're all good players, they all need an opportunity to play, they're all um, trust the coach hopefully when he, when he lets them know why he's playing a certain formation or why he's playing a certain combination um, I don't sit here and think that Mark's coming into partner one particular player. We've got some good good options up front now, and um, you know, I'm sure they'll all understand that as we move on and we, we uh, progress the season. Sometimes we'll play two up front, sometimes we'll play three up front, sometimes we'll play one up front, um, and hopefully the, the players will have, as I say, the humility to understand the reasons behind that. First, uh, Celtic is a mythic club, so. That's uh, that's uh, that's why I make my decision, and uh, I already work with uh, Tony Mombre, so that's also that's also, that's why also. Do you feel as though you'll score a lot of goals in the SPL? This is my this is my job as striker, and uh, I want to score, and uh, also uh, I want also give uh, assists. I want to, to to play a good football also, and. Uh, make the, the fan happy. That's Marc Antoine Fortuné, who's now a Celtic player. And another man from Nancy who looks like being a Celtic player is Landro Nguemi. Uh, it looks like Tony Mowbray is set to make Nguemi his second signing within the next 48 hours. The uh, Nancy, the French club's website, is already saying he's on a season-long loan. Celtic haven't confirmed that yet. Uh, Mowbray said in the press conference today he's not a Celtic player as we sit here today. Otherwise, he'd be sitting here with us. With any of these deals, there are always things that can go wrong. Uh, and as always, things can crop up at the last minute and can muddy the waters. Um, he's not going to travel with the rest of the squad to Australia. However, uh, one player looking unlikely to join Mowbray at Celtic is Derby winger Chris Commons. He said he saw that running the other day, Mowbray, presumably here, and uh, I'm not sure where it's come from, but it's not going to happen, he says. He's not a player we have discussed. Uh, Fortuné then in at Celtic, and he of course played at West Brom last season. They've moved to get uh, some goals. Uh, they signed Simon 